Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and I am usually your guide for everything Chinese medicine, various other stuff. Uh, today is week four measurement and weigh-in for this workout project thing that I am putting myself through because I'm tired of looking and feeling like a schlub. So, um, I am just about to go weigh myself and there is something that I want you to remember because I highly doubt that I've made much headway this week, at least as far as raw weight goes. We'll worry about the measurements later. Hey, little one. Yeah, Mari's right here. She says hi. Say hi. So, one of the things you do have to remember is that this is winter time, especially if you are doing this with me, and food is different in this time. Also, we have an instinctual need, because we're animals, to not do a lot when it's cold. Okay? That's why it's so remarkable that I'm doing this right now. Should be more summertime. That would give me a bit of an edge. But I didn't want to, so yeah. Okay? All right, I'll be back in a little while. I'm going to put this little crazy little kid down. See you soon. Okay, I just got back from weighing myself, and I'm at 173.6. So from last week, I lost a full pound. Now that could just be poop. Uh, could just be water weight. I don't know. Uh, however, losing a full pound within a week is actually pretty decent. It could also just be a normal fluctuation uh, based on just life. Okay? It's really, really tough to, to say. Now, if I continue a downward trend in weight uh, while increasing other stats, then, yeah, um, things are going well. So, now, if I would have lost, say, five pounds in a week, okay, we may have a problem, because uh, there's something very interesting with weight. The body does not like to lose it, okay? Unless you really hit the nail on the head and everything else is perfect, um, losing five or more pounds in a week is actually pathological, and you should most likely see a doctor. It's also why you should not take any diuretic pills that you buy on the tea that you buy from an infomercial or some random website that you come across because you'll want to lose weight. I always tell that uh, to patients whenever they come to see me for weight loss. They always ask me, so how do you do this? I say, well, what we do is I teach your spleen, that's your digestive system, how to actually function correctly, and I help you moderate out your appetite, and if you are really serious about this, I'm going to make you keep a food journal, okay? That way you can see what you are eating and why that's bad. A lot of people, especially those that struggle with their weight, eat mindlessly. It's, like, common. So, when it comes to weight loss, there is no one-size-fits-all thing. There are certain things that everybody has to do, but not all of it is always the same. Okay? All right, enough of my soapboxing. Let's get to the measurement, shall we? I've given up looking for my tailor's tape. I don't know, Narnia maybe? All right, let's do the belly. Yeah. Come here, you. Okay, we are at uh, 137 and a half. We're at 37 and a half, right? Yeah, 37 and a half. Getting there. Okay. Just. Hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing for you. And we are at 38 inches solid. Awesome. I'm becoming less square. I do want a larger chest. I just want it solid, not soft. Men are not soft in the chest. Guess why? Come here, you. Alrighty, and we are at how much? Hold, stop it. 
13. A little bit over 13, actually. Looks like we gained a little bit of mass there. I'll put here 13 plus on the left. Okay. And right. Let's see what we do here. Mari is uh, sitting right beside me. She is fascinated by, uh, by this measurement tape. Thinks it is a very neat toy. We are at a, about the same, about 13 plus. Okay. Okay. And my chinny chin. I said I was at 30. I think I missed. Measure twice, cut once, as you do. It would be a lot easier if I had another set of hands. Okay, that should hold it. It's saying I'm two feet around. Is that right? Yep, yeah, 24. Okay. It's early. What can I say? All right. So that's handled. So I'm going to go do my workout. And uh, if you're following along with me, good on you. Uh, if you're doing something very similar, uh, leave your stats, if you're recording them, down in the comments. And if you're new, uh, hit that big uh, subscribe button, leave a like, leave another comment. Uh, inspiration, get going dude, stuff like that for, for me, for you, for everybody else, that would be wonderful. We got enough bad in the world right now. Let's add in some good, shall we? Especially since... Uh, a week for uh, end of this coming week, actually Friday, coming, is Christmas Day. So let's add in some good cheer, shall we guys? Uh, if you would like uh, to also get in touch with me directly, feel free to visit my website at vigintmed.com. That stands for Vigorelli Integrated Medicine. Uh, you can go ahead and drop me a line there and I am very happy to reply to you. So, uh, I'll be back uh, with something else later in this week. I've got a couple of ideas for some things that I want to do, but I'm still kind of kicking them around. So, we'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. I published a book. You can get this on Amazon. Cost you about 16 bucks hard copy. You can even get it soft copy for about half that. It's on Kindle. Go ahead, pop over to Amazon.